a couple of years ago. Uh, Bernard Lewis and I wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal that uh, fell with a thud. No one was interested. And what we said was rather than starting from scratch and coming up with a whole new constitution and governmental structure for Iraq, why not use the constitution that was drafted and implemented in the 1920s and that was taken away from them by the coups, by the Ba'athists at the end of the 50s? It was a model for the Arab world. It was a constitutional monarchy. They had a Hashemite king. They could have a Shiite prime minister. They had a lower house that was elected. The only change you'd really have to make would be, had to make initially, was the king would have to issue an edict saying women get to vote because they didn't get to vote back then. Uh, but the Constitution had an amendment provision in it, had an appointed sen senior chamber, a Senate, but a elected uh, lower chamber. And uh, Bernard's point, and he's the scholar of the Arab world, not me, was that Arabs respect tradition and history so much that you're much better off building on something that had been there before rather than trying to start fresh in the midst of a war. Well, we couldn't get anybody uh, interested in that, but I, it was his idea and I still think uh, uh, he was right.